Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Arnie's house of uh, home improvement, here. This is Arnie. I just want to show you a couple little things we got going on here in the house, doing a little uh, restorations and uh, shot chair. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. I'll show you. <laughs> okay. On today's uh, segment, uh, painting the room on Corinth 1121, uh, I want to uh, show you all a product that I heavily recommend. It is Durham's Water Putty. It's an excellent product. In fact, if you had 10,000 pounds of this, you could make a a boat with a hull made of this and, and all you have to do is add some water just like a biscuit mix. However, it's not something you eat, it's something you add to holes and it fills in holes inside or outside with a magical uh, ability just to, it, it becomes rock hard. So that's why it's known as Durham's rock hard. Here he is, here's that guy. You too could be like him, you too. You too could use this potion if you're so lucky to find it in your local hardware store and add a little water. Very, very simple and super awesome. All right, hi YouTube. We're doing a little bit of sanding today and I can show you the improvements on the, on the walls behind me here. See how smooth they are? So nice. It's a baby butt. You gotta sand everything down to uh, get your primer on. It's really dusty in here, so I'm gonna wear my mask. Don't wanna breathe this stuff in. And uh, you see it's all smooth behind me. Looking good. This is my Sander right here. It's a uh, just a rigid uh, uh, disc sander, and this fills up, but it still gets in your uh, room a lot of the dust. And so I, right here, do you see this? Right here, guys. Right here. Always have a fan. If you're a fan, have a fan, and exhaust all that dust. All right. Well, I'll get back to work here. Where we up. Prime down, ceiling, two coats. Yeah, two coats, two coats. And trim, check that trim out. You sand it all down, sand it all down, and then you prime and paint with a semi-gloss. Yes, sir. Notice one other thing. One other thing, fan. Blow those bad boys out of the house and not into the house. All right. Ah. Let me get this done here. A little work here in the closet. Just priming out these little, I don't know what do you call them, coat wrap things. We're doing the floors, we're doing the floors. I just wanna show you guys, this is the room now. All primed out. Doors primed. Yeah. So, did the seam there. Nice and crisp. Getting ready to uh, do the top coat, which is going to be sort of an off color here and a, and a ceiling white here. And we'll do that tomorrow. Anyhow, I'm just trying to finish up here. It's my homework for the night. I'll wrap it up and start again. So, I get everything cut in here. This is an eggshell paint. While eggshell is easy to clean up, it will flash, which means you'll see it if you try to recode it or put, uh, do a touch up on it. So 
going to do this section and then I'm going to go on and do this section later. Uh, probably won't see that flash on that corner. I'm hoping, hoping not. It's going to be a nice, uh, I don't know, what's the color on this? Oh, we're using today a Ben Moore paint and it's called, uh, there's a nice uh, color for you, truffle. So we're going to truffle on. Perfect. Perfect. Beauty. So we are doing the trim here, and it's sort of an off-color semi-gloss. You do the trim first on the baseboard so you can paint the floor later and it'll be dry. Yep, all sanded and ready to go. What's up, Mendizzles? Room's all empty now. And right down there, I'm doing my cut in for the enamel floor paint. Look at this relic I found, boys. Old Navy Touch floor and deck enamel from 1972 we're putting down. It's gonna come out good. I'm gonna roll it out now. Well, that'll be it for this room. After I take that tape off. Thank you.